Hello. Good evening. Hola, hola. Good evening, teacher. Hola, comentarles así brevemente que estoy con datos. En toda la zona no hay servicio de internet. Así es que voy a informar a, a, al grupo de facilitadores. Posiblemente voy a mantener quizás la cámara por momentos eh, apagada. Esperando que se pueda restablecer el servicio. Muy buenas noches, Lee. Eh, Tiene el permiso, no se preocupe. Ok, gracias. Okay, welcome to all of you. We are going to start checking the attendance first. Vamos a iniciar eh, revisando la asistencia, aunque eso lo, normalmente lo hacemos 20 minutos después de las 8, dándoles tiempo a que puedan llegar a sus lugares. Activaré mi cámara al llegar a mi casa, ya que aún voy en camino. Ok, muy bien. Es comprensible. Ok, let me share the topic that we are going to study today. <clears throat> oh. 
Okay, this is uh, the section number two, time and pressure for regular activities. Ese sería el tema para hoy. Expresiones de tiempo para actividades regulares. So, uh, we are going to face on this topic. But before to start with this topic, what we are going to do is that we are going to make a review based on the previous class. ¿Me comprendieron lo que dije? Sí. ¿Aló? Yes, teacher. Ok, thank you. Yes, teacher. Vamos a ir. Veamos, ¿quién no comprendió para ayudarle? Hola, hola. I got 13 now. Okay, welcome, Don Elvin Alfredo. Nice to see you again, Janet. Eh, Gisela, Gisela, it's no es Gisela, Gisela. Okay. Let me see. Cecilia is there, Jonathan, Roxana. Say hello, uh, in order that you can prove your microphones and a speaker, please. What about you, Edwin? How do you feel today, Edwin? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I'm fine. Thanks. Okay. okay, okay. What about you, Janet Campos? Say hello, say hello, please. Welcome. Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening, okay, nice microphone. What about you, Gabriela? Gabriela Ramirez, are you there? I'm here, teacher. Okay, perfect. What about you, Gisela? Hi, teacher. I feel happy because I received the class. Okay, nice. I like that. I like to hear that. Cecilia, what about you, Cecilia Maribel? Good evening, teacher. I also. Oh. I like that expression too. Jonathan, nice to see you again, sir. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I'm fine, I'm fine. Okay. Hello, Roxana. Hello, teacher. How do you feel today, Roxana? I'm fine, teacher. And you? Breathe it, ready to start my class. Okay, who's amazing? Roxana Elizabeth? What about you, Roxana? You look so yeah. serious. You look so mm -hmm. serious today. Hello, Roxana? Hello, teacher. Okay. Let me see, Candy, Candy, Natalia. Hello, teacher. Hello, welcome. How can you hear me? Me, how can you hear me? Hello, hello, can you hear me very well? Yes or no, tell me. Hola, hola, me están oyendo? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Por un momento me quedo ahí pensando que perdí la conexión. Pero no, estamos aquí otra vez. Eh, let me see. Somebody else. Okay, what about you, Don Jose Alemán? Welcome back. How do you feel today? Hello, teacher. Hello, sir. Okay, Ana Iris. Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Catherine. Hello, Catherine. Present. Hello, hello. Hola. Hello, welcome. 
Okay, Sara, Sara, are you there, Sara? Say hello, please. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, welcome back. Lisette Cruz, are you there? Hello, good evening. Good evening. What about Paola Jovel? Ah, it's right then, I guess. Bueno, creo que todavía ven camino. Yes, creo que sí. Okay, Karina. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Bueno, Ingrid, Thank you. Ingrid creo que está ocupada o todavía va en camino también porque está de Hello, teacher. Hello, welcome. Glad to see you again. Good evening. Good evening, welcome. I'm working today um, by entering some payment in the system, the work. Okay. Okay, I'm, I do really sorry for that, to hear that. Okay, no problem at all. Okay, let us continue with the review. Later on, as soon as we finish, we are going to check out the attendance. I already got uh, 18 students. So let me show you something. Oh. Okay, hold on a second. I already mean it. Okay, I'm going to try to turn on my camera and try to do it in that way because I need to see your faces too. Okay, welcome back. This is session number two, and we are going to start talking about a new topic, but at the same time, before to do that, uh, what we are going to do is just to make a review about the topic that we studied yesterday. In order to do this, let me show you this slide. There you are going to do something. Okay, let me get bigger. Okay, um, you are going to work in pairs. You are going to look at the sentences and take a screenshot discuss the mistakes on the breakout room and you are going to share your ideas. Do your best. ¿Están claras las instrucciones? ¿O hay alguna duda? Dime. Dime. Teacher, la parte cuatro. Discuss the mistake on the breakout room. Ok. Uh -huh. Discutir el, los errores. En, voy a crear donde va a estar con alguien más usted. Uh -huh. okay. Por eso el inicio dice work in trabajo. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? Sí, thank you. Ok. And then you are going to share your ideas. Y después van a, a, a compartir cómo corrigieron los errores. Okay, ahí está. Take a screenshot. Por favor, uh, haga una captura. We only have 10 sentences. And you are going to identify that all the mistakes there and you are going to write them down in the right way. Van a identificar los errores que hay ahí. Ustedes lo van a escribir de manera correcta. ¿Tomaron la captura? Yes, teacher. No, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, le, uh, I'm, I'm going to ask you to a volunteer who wants to take a screenshot and share it in the WhatsApp group, please. Me gustaría que si alguien que tomó la captura lo puede compartir en el grupo de WhatsApp, por favor. Alguien que tome mucha habilidad. Uh, 
Ahora, siempre tengo solamente a India. Por lo tanto, ella me va a hacer esta. Ok, let me see what that is. Teens, students. We need to have nine. We need to create. Let me see here. Let me see what I'm going to do. Wow, I don't know. Okay, hold on a second, please. Let me rearrange. Voy a tener que reordenar esto porque se me conectaron dos más. Seis y siete. Okay, let me see somebody out here. Okay, I'm going to re rearrange it later on. Um, I'm going to give you seven minutes in order to do this. If you need more time, I'm going to let you do it later on, okay? Bueno, creo todos han estado en el módulo anterior, saben cómo accesar al breakout room. Les va a llegar una invitación, por favor le dan clic en ella para poder uh, integrarse uh, con su compañía. Compañía. Típico. Por ahí va, ya les sigo. Paola, Paola quedó sola. Paola. ¿Me oyes? Paola. No me olviden, no me olviden, ahí tiene la invitación. Gabriela igual, Candy. No, Paola tiene problemas de conexión. Gabriela, ¿qué le pasó? Gabriela. Gabriela. Welcome, Don Jose. Por ahí le envié la invitación para el breakout room. Por ahí le espera Roxana. Teacher, no tengo buena señal por lo que le comenté ayer. Trato, pero no puedo. Yo soy de mi celular. Ok, ok, no hay problema, no hay problema. Trate de, si puede, trate de trabajar en, en los ejercicios. Sí, es que estoy solo con Roaming y no, no puedo. Lo siento, de verdad que traté, pero no, no, me, no me da. Ok, don't worry about, don't worry about. Bueno, tengo mucho sol.
Hello. Hello. I'm here. I'm here. I would like to see the way that you are resolving the, the mistakes in the sentences. Yeah. Actually, continue. Continue. Reserve. Okay. What What you can do is just to to take uh one sentence for every one of you. Um. Yes, I. Lo que pueden they, hacer es tomar una oración cada uno, corregirla, este, luego decirle a los demás, miren, aquí había un error, luego van a la siguiente para que avance. Ok. Perfecto. Puede ser rápido. ¿De qué? ¿Qué rápido se mandaron para la clase? Okay, welcome back. I don't know if you uh, were able to check all the sentences in the time that I assigned. No sé si les ajustó el tiempo para poder revisar todas las oraciones. De mi parte, no, teacher. Parejo. No, no, okay. no, teacher, no. Okay, I'm going to give you more time in order that you can check it. Don't worry about it. Okay, here we go again.
Teacher, por error, quité la invitación. Hola, hola. Por error, quité la invitación. Creo que había aparecido de nuevo la invitación y, y se me salió. Ok, hola, bienvenido. Ah, sí, que no la veo. No tengo y está Jonathan esperando, pero tendré que mover la cena. Ahí se le envié, pero... Eh, Ya debió haberle llegado. Coach, I don't, I don't hear you. Hold on a second. What about now? Can you hear me? Yes? 
Yes, actually, yes. Yes. Okay, um, I need a volunteer who wants to correct number one. She were in the restaurant every day. What is, what is the mistake? Edwin, tell me, Edwin. Um, and the first S is uh, she works in the restaurant every day. Okay. She works. Because we are talking about, porque estamos hablando de. Number one. Yeah, yeah. It's in third person. Okay, singular person. Okay. What about number two? Somebody else. Alguien más, por favor. Van a participar diez. And I think okay, that. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Don't forget to raise your hand in order to start. Okay, ahí está. Eso. Okay. Okay, teacher. I think that the mistakes is the Monday because it's the Mondays. The studies in the university on Mondays in the little two. Are you sure about that? Yes, I think that I don't know. Repeat again. Repeat a little bit. They studies in the university on Monday. Okay, well, where is the mistake there? Donde está el error ahí? Okay, veamos Roxana, ayudémosle a la compañera, por favor. Estará en el verbo, teacher. Is study they study in the university on Monday? Yes or no? <laughs> okay, explain me, explain me what I need to change, what I need to switch, what I need to modify. Que lo que necesito yo cambiar, que necesito modificar directly to the point. El verbo, teacher. Ah, ok. ¿Qué, qué necesito hacer? Eh, quitarle la IES. Ah, and you are going to put? Y agregarle la IES. You are going to why They study in the university on Monday, ok. Bueno. Sí, porque they se refiere a ellos, primera persona, entonces no. Sí. Sí, yo creo que todos han acertado. Lo que sucede es que o no me di a entender y quizá por eso no, no, no les había captado. Ok, number three, somebody else, please. Alguien más en la número tres. Gabriela. El, el error es en running oh, okay. because because um, is runes mm. la, la regla es que si lleva uh, consonante vocal consonante le agreguemos es uh -huh. ok and what about there Sería Rose, Rose Furness in the Charlotte. Are you sure about this? Mm, wait, wait. Ah. Wait, teacher. You need to be sure about what you are telling me. <clears throat> Tera, no, 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 I, I'm not sure. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't forget. Yes. Why your hand, please? I'm still waiting, Gabriela. Okay, Gabriela, I'm going to ask. I'm going is, to ask uh, Edwin, Edwin Alfredo. Nothing with more you. is. Okay, go ahead. Okay, let me ask Edwin Alfredo, are you there? 
Okay, teacher, for me is a uh, third person again is Rose runs in the charlettes. In the charlette. Okay. In the charlette. Only uh, only add letter S. Uh, okay, we are going to put a letter Rose right here. Runs. Runs. Oh, runs. Perfect. Nice. Is correct? Yes. You are going to add an S. Runs. Okay, thank you. Number four, somebody else. Candy. Number four. We, we book rice in English every year. Where is the mistake? Where is the mistake there? ¿Dónde está el error ahí? ¿Qué discutieron con su compañero o compañera? Según entiendo la oración, ellos eh, escribieron los libros, pero del book no es verbo, entonces tendría que llevarlo en, la, en escribir, que es write. Tendría bueno, que llevar la S. ¿Qué es lo que necesito hacer? Veamos que nos ayude Roxana. Roxana, tell me. Bye, teacher. Eh, la oración se daría We write books in the English every, ah, every ah, year. Ok. Entonces, Ahí es, es de cambiar de verbo. We write. Eh. Ok. We need to switch the order. Tenemos que cambiar el orden. Yes. Porque primero va el sujeto, después el verbo, después el verbo. El... Ok, perfect. I got your point. Ok, thank you. Number five, the car is runs in the evening. Bien, de los que no han participado, por favor, démosle chance, por favor, los demás. Tell me, tell me. Hola, hola. Bueno, nadie quiere participar. I'm going to stop. Bueno, tenía Karina y tenía quién más. Karina, dinos, Karina. Um, in the verb, we have a S. In the cat is wrong. We need to keep the S. What I need to drop? ¿Qué necesito quitar de esta oración? The letter is. Oh, okay, the cat runs in the evening. Okay, the weather is. Perfect. Number six. Alguien más que estaba por ahí con la manita? Eh, Cecilia? Micrófono, micrófono, microphone, please. Uh, number six, the gear is, the gear is sleeps in the bed every night. Wow, okay, perfect. I repeat again, repeat a nuevo, por favor, para que los compañeros eh, verifiquen. The gear is sleeps in the bed every night. Okay, thank you. Number seven. Teacher, teacher, lo siento, tengo una duda en esa oración. No okay. sería, no sería on the bell. Mm. Es decir que está sobre la cama. Sí. Mm -hmm. Pero acordémonos también que el in, cuando vimos las preposiciones de, de, de lugares eh, en el módulo 1, Uh -huh. también están limitadas uh -huh. en un espacio, ¿no? Uh -huh. Por eso es que tiene usted la duda y podría surgir así, porque sí tiene una superficie también. Uh -huh. The girl sleep. On the bed every night, but in this case, we are using in because we are delimitating the space.
Okay, number seven. Sige, Harris tayo kung, okay, Giselle, or si Giselle. Okay. I think that change the positions in the sentence because the first Harry Styles sings on Saturday. Mm. Repeat again. Harry Styles sings on Saturday. Shut up. Veamos que nos dice Janet. Um, igual a Harry Stanley sin on Saturday. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, the rest you can resolve. Uh, okay, let, let me check up the attendance first. Déjeme revisar la asistencia que se nos, se nos fue, se nos fue el espacio. América Elizabeth, are you there? Say hello if you are there, please. América Elizabeth. No está con nosotros. Eh, Ana Iris. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, uh, Blanca Esperanza. No he visto a Blanca, no sé qué le pasa. Eh, Cecilia Maribel. Good evening, teacher Preston. Good evening, welcome. Eh, Edwin Alexis. No está. Ni ayer. Edwin Alfredo. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Francisco. Francis, no, today. Eh, Gabriela Jamilet. I am here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Eh, Gisela Guadalupe. I am here. Ingrid. Ingrid. Present. Okay, welcome. Eh, Ivania Lisset. Ivania Lisset. No, not today. Jonathan. Jonathan. Present teacher, present. Okay, welcome. Jose Ernesto. Jose Ernesto Alemán. Don Jose Alemán. Hello. Say hello, Don Jose Alemán. Don Jose Luis. Hello, teacher. Present. Okay. Don Jose Luis Beltran. Karina Vanessa. Hello, present. Okay. Eh, Catherine Maricela. Present, teacher. Okay. Catherine Paola. Good evening, teacher. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Jose Beltran, present. Okay, okay. Candy, Natalie. Say Present teacher. Okay. Mauricio Antonio. Present teacher. Okay. Roxana. Present teacher. Okay, Rox. Uh, Elizabeth Landa Verde. Present. So two, eh, Sara. 
present. Sarah's here too. Janet. Janet. Good evening, teacher. Present. Good evening. Yesenia Lisset. Good evening, teacher. Okay, step two and Jessica Beatriz. Jessica Beatriz. No here. Bueno, tengo seis ausencias. No iniciando el módulo. Eso es lo más complicado. Okay, according to the time, we are going to start with this conversation in the group. Let me share with you this information. Okay, here we go. Take a look at the screen. Teacher, teacher, perdón, antes que siga. Tell me. Eh, la pregunta, las interrogantes que estábamos viendo anteriormente, las, la que le dijimos, la última que dijimos con la compañera, no me quedó claro si estaba correcta o no. Which one? Era la de Harry Stanley sing on Saturday. back again I have to look it up yes there you what you need to do is just to move the the bear things and you are going to put it as not uh after the 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 last name of Harry. You got it there, right? But no change the the bird sings. No, because you are talking about a uh, third singular person. Oh, perfect. And I have a question because I don't understand the letter two. They studies in the university on Mondays, but okay. You... Second, let, let me get it here. Okay, so let me see if I can check it out. Okay, let me show you again. Okay. Tell me. The um, number, uh, okay, first of all, tell me the number of that. The, the number two is the mistake studies, but I don't understand. Ah, okay, let me, let, let me explain the reason why uh, we need to check it. Okay, hold on a second. Let me try to do something now and then put it in. Okay, I'm going to explain this way. The pronoun day, it is plural or singular? Tell me. El pronoun day, será singular or plural? Plural. Okay, entonces. Uh, ¿Cuándo es que los verbos van a llevar inflexión? 
when I singular. Ah, uh, only he, she, only. and it. Ah, okay. Yes. Solamente he, she, and it. En este caso, they ya no es una tercera persona. Por lo tanto, yo no puedo estar haciendo cambios acá. Mm -hmm. Si aquí estuviese he, o she, o it, ahí sí es válido. Pero si oh. they, they, you, we, o I, no puedo estar haciendo cambios. Okay. Okay. I'm unclear. Yes, of okay. course. Okay. Cualquier duda que tenga, por favor, antes de moverme a la siguiente slide, indíquenme que tienen alguna duda para poder aclararles. Okay. Okay. Let us continue with activity number two. Um, But in fact, we need to uh, start working in, in uh, activity number one. What are the three first things you do on Mondays? And how many times a day do you check your email? We have two different questions here in order to interact with each other. Tengo dos preguntas ahí para poder interactuar. The first one is, what are the three first things you do on Mondays? Who wants to answer this one? Dime, dime. ¿Comprendemos la pregunta o no? Yes, teacher. Ok, tell me. Dice que um, las tres primeras cosas que hacemos los días lunes y cuántas veces al día revisamos nuestro email. Ok. Okay, I, I need the answer to, to that question. Necesito la respuesta de esa pregunta. What are the three first things you do on Mondays? Then the second one say, how many times a day do you check your email? La segunda. ¿Cuántas veces en el día usted chequea su email? Tell me. Dígame, dígame, por favor. Tenemos dos preguntas, pero no tiene una respuesta aún. I'm still waiting for your answer. Okay, don't help me. In my case, teacher, on Mondays, in my first, my first uh, things uh, I do, um, I have a meeting in the morning. Okay. I have a meeting in the morning with my partners. And after I uh, check my email in the first in the first time, and the other things, uh, send send my week report to my boss. Okay, perfect. Thank and you. in and I check my email approximately uh, ten times in a day. Seven times in a day. Okay. Nice. Yes. Okay. Thank you. So Maria wants to do it.
Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Karina. Um, on Monday, the first thing that I do is uh, I take a shower. Then I go to my work. In my work, I re revise, I check, check my books. Okay, check. Then, uh, I check my email uh, two times a day. Okay, thank you. Anybody else wants to do it? Giselle. Okay, on Monday, I do in the morning, I wake up very early and later I brush my teeth. After that, I go into, I go into my job and I check my email because I work with my email. Okay, thank you. Somebody else wants to do it. So please try, try to interrupt. She'll do it. Okay. Thank you. Can not, can not. Participación activa. Jonathan. Okay, teacher. Um, I don't wear all the Monday. I am. Um, I play soccer with my son. I play football. I'll play video game. And now my check my email because it's my holiday. Is your day off? Yes. Okay, perfect, nice. Thank you, somebody else wants to do it? Get mass. Me, teacher. Okay, do it. Uh... Um, on Monday, I get up and take a shower. Mm -hmm. I go to my job, and in the night at six o'clock, and I go to the church. And I, I check, I check my my email two hours daily. You check your email? Two, two hours daily. Diariamente. Daily, but that, uh, how many times in the day? ¿Cuántas veces en el día usted chequea su email? Mm. Uh, casi cada hora, teacher, no puedo. Uh, every hour, every hour. Okay, every hour. Okay. Every hour. I check my email. Okay, thank you. Let us continue with activity number two. Listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with the pattern. This conversation is between Sofia and Mario. What do you do every mon Monday morning? I check my email and I call clients for the rest of the morning. What about you? I had to be a weekly record and attend a meeting. I also have to organize meeting every two months. How often do you check your email? Do you check, check it every day? Yes, I do actually, I check it once or twice a day. Great. 
here is very important. Okay. Any questions so far from here about where, how to pronounce it or something like that? I don't know. Do you have any questions so far from here or not? Just let me know, please. No teacher. No questions, okay. No teacher. Okay, I'm going to read again. Lo voy a leer una vez más. Uh, then you are going to practice in the breakout room with somebody else and then you are going to perform in the class. Okay, I'm going to start. What? Do you do every Monday morning? What do you do every Monday morning? I check my email and I call clients for the rest of the morning. What about you? I have to read a weekly report and attend a meeting. I also have to organize meetings every two Mondays. How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Yes, I do, actually. I check it one or twice a day. Great. It is very important. Okay, I está. Now questions? If you don't have a question, what I'm going to do. Okay. Uh, ¿Ya tienes la captura? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ok, I'm going to stop sharing. Voy a dejar de compartir. And you are going to practice this conversation with somebody else. I got 20, but... Ok, let me try to get in here. So I'm going to recreate. I guess five minutes is enough for this conversation because it's short. Okay, here we go. Teacher, sorry, uh, teacher. Hello, hello, I'm here, tell me. Sí, se me apagó la, la compu y ahorita me conecté con el celular, pero no sé qué estamos haciendo ahorita. Estamos en un breakout room. Ah, ok. Pero eh, no sé si tiene la invitación todavía ahí. Eh, no, no, porque me acabo de, de incorporar. 
page on net. Let me assign somebody here. We will start running from. Wow, can you write it to me? I'm very proud of going. I'm going to go to the board. I'm going to go to the board. I'm going to go to the board. Okay, ahí le he enviado. Gracias. Thank you. Okay, welcome. Hello, hello, hello. You said, are you there? Hola, sí, dígame. Veo que la dejaron solita. That is the reason why I'm here with you in order to can help you. Sí, nadie entró y estoy sola. No, oh, wow. Okay, let, let me share with you the conversation. In order that we can perform. Can you see it? Just let me know if you can see it. Si la puede ver? Si, si la puede ver. Okay, you are going to be Sophia and I'm going to be Mary. The star, please. What do you do every Monday morning? I share my email and I call client for the rest of the morning. What about you? I have to read a uh, weekly report and attend a meeting. I also have to organize, organize? Organize. Organize meeting every two Monday. How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Yes, I do actually, I check it once or twice a day. Great, it, it is, very important. Okay, thank you. Bueno, por ahí le pongo la manito para que pueda hacer la práctica.
Okay, welcome back. We are going to practice the conversation here. Let me see who is going to be the fair one. Hello, hello. Hi, teacher. Okay, who wants to start with the conversation? Let me see. I want to hear you. I want to hear you. Okay, Edwin, go ahead. Uh, with my partner Gisela. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, so sorry, sorry. Wait, wait. Okay. Um, what do you do every Monday morning? Sorry. Um. Wait, wait. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I check my email and I call clients for the rest of the morning. What about you? I have to read a weekly report and attend a meeting. I also have to organize meetings every two Mondays. How often do you check your email? Do you check, check it every day? Yes, I do actually. I check it once or twice a, or twice a day. Great. It's very important. Okay. Okay, thank you. Somebody wants to do it? Hurry up, please. Hurry up, please. ¿Quién más desea hacer la conversación? Podemos leerlo con mi compañera Paola, como nos salga Paola. Ok, Rosana. Ok. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo nos repartimos? Me gusta, inicio yo. Ok. What do you do every Monday morning? I check my email and I call clients for the rest of the morning. What about you? I have to read a weekly report at the same meeting. I also have to organize here every two Mondays. How often do you check, check your email? Do you check it every day? Yes, I do actually. I check it once or twice a day. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. So Maria wants to do it. Hey, Don Jonathan. Okay, teacher, my partner is Roxana. Roxana Elizabeth. Mm, hi. Okay. okay. I'm Maria and you, Sophia. Okay. What do you do every Monday morning? I check my email and I call clean for the rest of the morning. What about you? I have to read a weekly report and attend a meeting. I also have to organize meeting every two Mondays. How often do you check your emails? Do you check it every day? Yes, I do actually. I check in always or twice a day. Great, this is very important. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Maria. Okay, the Maria wants to do it. Quien más?
Anybody else? Okay, Gabriela, go ahead. Eh, con Janet. Sam, pues okay. creo que es. Hi, hi. Uh, teacher, ¿será que puede compartir la conversación? Oh, Por favor. Right, es que estoy desde el teléfono y me cuesta más. Okay, thank you. Okay, you got it there. Okay. What do you do every Monday morning? I check my email and I call in class for the rest of on the morning. What about you? I have to read a weekly report and I attend a meeting. I also have to organ organize meetings every two Mondays. How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Yes, I do actually. I check in all Travis a day. Great. It is very important. Okay, thank you. It is organized, organized. I also had to organize meetings. Okay, I'm going to read again. Lo voy a leer una vez más. Le dice Sofia, what do you do every Monday morning? I check my email and I call clients for the rest of the morning. What about you? I had to read a weekly recall and attend a meeting. I also have to organize meeting every two Mondays. How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Yes, I do actually. I check it once or twice a day. Great, it is very important. Okay, that's it. I don't know if somebody wants to do it or uh, I can continue the next activity that I have. Teacher, a pronunciation about is organize. 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 Okay. Meetings. Organize mm -hmm. meetings. Meeting. Meeting. Mm, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Let us continue then. Let us talk about adverb of frequency. We use adverb of frequency to. Hold on a second. Okay, I'll read again. We use adverb of frequency to say how often do you do things. I need that you understand this concept, please. Necesito que entienda ese concepto, por favor. We use adverb of frequency to. To say how often we do scenes. Adverbios de frecuencia, teacher. Sí. Usamos adverbios de frecuencia para decir para decir en dónde se encuentran las cosas. Para decir con qué. Si hacemos las cosas. O decimos las cosas, ahí decimos. Ok, don Edwin. Eh, para ver este, como periodos de, de, de tiempo o de veces que repetimos algo, alguna actividad. Ok.
we use other frequency to say how often we do something. Con qué frecuencia hago, hacemos las cosas. Okay, let us see here. Take a look at this information that I have here. They are for forest information. The most common frequency algorithm in English are always, I got frequently, usually, often, sometime, occasionally, seldom, rarely, and never. Okay, try to read it. Try to read it. You can start from zero to 100. Never, readily, seldom, occasionally, sometimes, often, often, usually, frequently, and always. And we are talking about percentage there. Okay, let me show someone who wants to read it. Veamos, Cecilia, Maribel, léamelo, por favor, los adverbios, solamente los adverbios, no el porcentaje. Always, frequently, usually, often, sometimes, occasionally, seldom, rarely, never. Okay, comencemos otra vez. Always, frequently, okay, usually, no, hold often. On, hold on there, hold on there. The second one, repeat, frequently. Fre frequently. 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 Ah, okay, se oye mejor, frequently. Frequently, usually, often. The third one, el tercero, usually. 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 Okay. Usually. Next. Yes. Next one. Often. Often. Sometimes. Often or often is the same. Okay. Continue. Sometimes. Occasionally. 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 Seldom. Rarely. Never. Okay. Thank you. What about teacher, you? perdón, teacher, la del 10%, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Rarely, rarely. Rar, rarely. 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 Okay, thank you. Okay. What about you, Ana Iris? Do you want to read it? Teacher, una pregunta y la del 20%, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Seldom, seldom. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Candy, can you read it? Okay, Gabriel, go ahead. Always, frequently, usually, often, sometimes, occasionally, seldom, rarely, and never. Okay, thank you. Somebody else wants to do it? Okay, Candy. Always, frequently, usually, often, sometimes, occasionally, occasionally, seldom, rarely, never.
Okay, thank you. Okay, let us continue then. Okay, we are going to read this information. As the adverb of frequency answer the typical question starting with how often, how frequently. For example, number one, how often do you brush your teeth? And the answer is, I always brush my teeth. Number two, how often does your mother cook? And the answer is, she readily cooks. Ojo con eso. Number three. How often is Claudio late for class? We missed the question mark there. He is never late for class. Okay, let me continue then. The position of this advert is not one advert of frequency go before. Okay, let's take a look at the position. Other frequency go before all bears or the main verb and after a form of the verb to be and is an R. Antes del verbo principal o después de, del verbo to be. Cuando dice del verbo to be, se refiere a las tres formas que están arriba. And is an R. Who wants to read the example? ¿Quién quiere leer los ejemplos? Michelle? Yes. Um, example. First, she is often late for class. They are always late for class. She usually cooks. They usually cook. Okay. Uh, somebody can explain me the reason why I got this uh, in green. ¿Por qué tengo eso en color verde? Chao. Um, because for bird to be. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, we are talking about B for, right? And according to the information that we have, it said that we need to put the other frequency. Uh, after the, the before. Y de acuerdo a la información que tenemos arriba que nos dice que debemos de poner eh, el adverbio de frecuencia después de la forma de el B. En este caso es justamente lo que tengo acá. And then the next example, which is usually cooks. They usually cook. We need to take care about that too. Question, no question. No question. Teacher, podría repetir la, la regla, pero así eh, en español. Okay, don't worry about. It. Okay, la regla lo que dice es lo que está en paréntesis. Los adverbios de frecuencia van antes de todos los verbos o de los verbos principales y después de las formas del verbo to be, que puede ser an, is, and are. For example, por ejemplo, aquí dice she is. Entonces, no puede estar este open aquí para que diga she open is late. No, la regla dice que va a ir después de la forma del verbo to be. 
Entonces aquí estamos cumpliendo la ley. A eso se refiere. En cambio, en la parte de abajo, eh, dice que van antes del verbo. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Cook. Cooks por ella y cook por ellos. Esa sería la explicación. I don't know if you got the information. No sé si le quedó claro. Yes, coach. But uh, si uh, utilizamos frequently, uh, siempre iría el, el verb to be antes o, o sí, vea, porque es, es a menudo y frecuentemente. Independientemente cuál adverbio de frecuencia usemos, la regla es muy clara y dice que cuando hay una forma del B, irá justamente después de la forma del B. Si no hubiese ninguna forma del B, que sería an, is, or are, entonces voy a ponerlo antes del verbo. Ok. Thank you. Ok, welcome. Ok, now two. We don't and that. We use the adverb of frequency after this and before the verb. Example. We don't usually travel. She doesn't usually travel. Okay, revisemos esa regla, por favor. Oh, they tell me. ¿Qué nos dice la red? Cuando va negativa, teacher. Yes. Don't and doesn't. Okay. Uh, the adverb frequency is after and before the verb. When is negative sentences. Yes. Generalmente cuando tenemos don't and doesn't, el, el adverbio de frecuencia va después de ellos. Y antes del verb. Eso es lo que está indicando. Okay. And we have, we got some examples. Who wants to read it? Voluntario que me lea la primera. Alguien que no haya hablado, por favor. Eh, Don José. Lea el primer ejemplo, por favor. Solo en inglés. I always go to school by bus. Simple boy al uh, lo es Okay, thank you. Number two, who wants to read it? Ten leel dos. Second place, who wants to read it? I don't usually get out of seven, teacher. Okay, pronounce me otra vez ese verbo. I don't usually get out of seven. Okay, ahí sería get up, get up. Get up, get up. No, get up. Get up. Ahí está, get up. Si me dice get, get out, ya es otra cosa. Okay, okay. I don't usually get up at seven. Okay, thank you. Somebody else wants to do it? ¿Quién más me lee? Number three, teacher. Yes, number three. I sometimes have lunch in a restaurant. Okay, I sometimes have lunch in a restaurant. Okay, thank you. Next one, please. Uh, 
El primero que levantó la mano de los tres, no sé quién fue. Okay, go ahead. Solo se quedó con la mano arriba. Don José Alemán. Okay, go ahead. I still don't have breakfast. Okay, I still don't have breakfast. Y ahí estamos cumpliendo la regla, mira, antes del verbo. Excepto en los negativos. Ok, let me see here the instructions. We write a sentence with the adverb of frequency. In the parentheses. In its correct position. For example, I play tennis on Sunday. And the answer is, I often play tennis on Sundays. Okay, uh, take a screenshot, please. Haga una captura, por favor. Y luego le doy tiempo para que reescribe. Ya incluyendo el adverbio de frecuencia. ¿Lo tienes? Yes or no? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I'm going to give you like a, a minute and learn that you can do this exercise, right? Bueno, lo hace muy informe individual.
Did you finish? Yes or no? Tell me. No, teacher. De mi parte todavía no. No yet? No, teacher. Okay, okay. Don't worry about Continue working, please. Teacher. Hello? Ahorita puedo hacerle una pregunta acerca de la plataforma. Ok. You este, cannot... okay hold hay, unos, hay unos videos. Eh, esos videos solo los vamos a ver y a practicar, a repetir la conversación. No, 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 no. No son esos. No son esos. Posible, Porque, eh, posiblemente. Esta... No. Ok, perdón. Posiblemente no han colocado el vídeo de ayer porque no me habían dado la orden de inicio, pero ya la tengo. Entonces, eh, algo hizo falta quizá, por eso no, no la colocaron ahí. Pero los vídeos que están ahí no son. Deben de aparecer los nuestros, donde aparecen ustedes. En la plataforma donde salen los ejercicios. Sí. Ok, déjeme ver un momentito, por favor, aquí. Quiero revisar eso antes de que... Finish, teacher. Okay. Okay, para una pregunta que aparece en el grupo, eh, perdón, en el chat. 
les, sí les enviaron eh, un enlace para unirse al grupo. No sé si, eh, si, si por qué razones no, no les aparece. ¿Quiénes no están en el grupo? Hola, hola. Yo no estaba, teacher, pero ya me incluí. Ok. Ahorita vi, revisé el enlace y ya me pude agregar. Ok, perfecto. Invito a los demás que hagan lo mismo, por favor. Y sí, para quien me consultaba sobre dónde ver los vídeos, ahorita le puedo compartir el enlace, ahí se lo dejo, ahí está en YouTube. El vídeo de la clase de ayer. No, teacher. Eh, de la plataforma en donde estamos haciendo las prácticas. Sí, precisamente. Los vídeos ahí van a estar. Estos de las clases. De, la, de cada una de las clases que tenemos, que estamos recibiendo, van a aparecer ahí. Ah, ok. Y donde... Donde sale un profesor dando conversaciones. No. Esas. Eso, no solo es. la, eso ya no. Esos son demos. Esos son demos. Los vídeos que van a aparecer son los de las sesiones nuestras. Ok. Ok. Did you finish? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Yes, finish. Okay, let us see before we leave. Okay. Tell me, Cecilia, and I'll. Uh, Number one. Is we are often in contact with my sister. Okay. Thank you. Number two, somebody else. Um, me go, me teacher. Okay. Yes. The correct sentence is Peter doesn't usually get up before seven. Ah, ok. ¿Por qué puso el usually después de de tasi? Porque es negativo. Ah, porque la regla sí lo dice, ¿cierto? Ok. Thank you. Number three. Number three. Número tres, alguien por favor, rapidito, bien tarde. Número tres. Número tres, teacher. Our friends most often write tests. Ah, ok. Number four. Number four. Number four. Yes. Uh, they sometimes go swimming in the lake. Okay. Number five. Okay. 
number five. Number five. Number five. The the always weather is bad in November. Mm, repeat again, please. The always weather is bad in November. Mm, do you consider that the the frequency adverb it must be between the the first and the second word? Okay, alguien, alguien más por favor nos ayuda. The washer is always is bad in November. Ah, okay. This is la, la pronunciación. The weather. The oh, weather. The weather oh, is always bad in November. Okay. Number six. Number six. Number six. Okay. Teacher. Perdón. Sería Peggy and Frank are usually late. Okay, Peggy and Frank are usually late. Okay. Number seven. Tengo dos manos arriba. Let me check out. Eh, Karina. Number seven, I have never met him before. Okay, I have never met him before. And the last one, number eight, is Edwin. Edwin. Edwin, are you there or somebody else? Sorry, teacher. My hand, no, no lower my hand. Okay. But, 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 okay. Uh, number, number, number seven. Okay, number seven. I have never met him before. I have never met him before. Okay, thank you. And the last one, number A, somebody else wants to do it. Alguien más, la se por favor, la número que sigue. Dígame, Giselle. Um, John Sheldon watches TV. Okay, John Sheldon watches TV. ¿Por qué puso Sheldon ahí? Porque la regla dice que va... Antes del verbo. Okay, let me see the time that we have now. I'm going to stop sharing. Bueno, hemos estado eh, en una señal no tan buena. No sé, algo sucede en la planta posiblemente. Bueno, vamos a checar again uh, the attendance. América, apareció América, no apareció América, alguien que la conozca que le dice que ya estamos. De regreso, Ana Iris. Present. Ok, Blanca Esperanza. No, Cecilia, Maribel. Present, teacher, good night. Okay, good night. Eh, Edwin Alexis. No, Edwin Alexis. Edwin Alfredo. Present teacher, good night. Hey, good night. Francisco Pereira Garcia. Not here. No, here, okay. Um, Gabriela Yamilet. Present teacher, oh, have a good you. night. Okay, you too. Eh, Giselle Guadalupe. 
present teacher. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Sure. Take care. Oh, okay. Ingrid Heraldina. Ingrid, Ingrid. Ivane Alicet. Jonathan. Where are you, Jonathan? Where are you? Present teacher. Okay, thank you, sir. Jose Ernesto Aleman. Present teacher. Good night. Okay, good night. Jose Luis Beltran. Karina Vanessa. Present. Okay, thank you. Katherine Maricela. Present. Katherine Paola. Present. Good night. Good night. Can, Candy, Natalie. Present teacher. Okay, Mauricio Antonio. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Roxana de uh, uh, Alvarez. Roxana Alvarez. Present teacher. Okay, step two. Roxana Elizabeth. Present. Sara Alejandra. Present. Okay. Um, Janet del Carmen. Present. Okay, so two. Yesenia Lisset. Jessica Beatriz. Jessica. Not here. Bueno, ya está. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, we are going to see again tomorrow. Okay, teacher. Good okay. night, good night. Good night, good night. Good night, good night. Good night, good night. Good night teacher. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bueno, la persona que tenía asignada el 1 a 1 no está el día de hoy, por la razón, it's not going to stay with us today.